have a package. I did not uh, receive this package recently. I got this several months ago and never actually opened it. I went into my moving process. But uh, this video is for Slacker Stacker, and I'll take a moment and just shout him out. I hope you'll uh, go subscribe to his channel. He's just getting started, and he's got a great channel. But uh, he um, is a collector of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse series from Provident, and uh, he said he was looking for what was in this box, and I no longer want it, so uh, this, is, uh, this is his if he wants to, to buy it. Okay, here we go, I'm still unboxing. Uh, kudos to Provident for a really excellent packaging job. But here is the case. When these first came out, um, I decided that I was going to collect them because a uh, nice simple little set and it had a really cool box and I thought it would be a wonderful set to collect. But then I got, uh, I got distracted with my move and I think I only bought the first coin. So, uh, I'm doing this with one hand. Uh, hold on. I, I, usually there's a magnet. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. That, that's interesting that it goes up and down like that. So, uh, Slacker Stacker, uh, there is the box if you're interested in it. Um, that's very nice. Nicely done. Of course, it's cardboard, but it's a thick cardboard. And they are out of stock, so... Uh, uh, the series, I think, uh, kind of bombed uh, when they had some of those quality problems. Some people have reported their coins being, like, entirely white with uh, milk spots. Uh, and, of course, as you know, Provident uh, moved away from uh, Elemental, who was doing a lot of their refining on stuff like this. And uh, I forget who they went to, but it was just a, an abominable uh, mint. Uh, whoever those people were, they were producing their coins. Hopefully they're long gone. Uh, one second and I'll find uh, the first coin, I mean the first round in the series. Oh, well here it is. That's odd. Um, give me one second here, right? I'm back with you. I guess I bought some air tights. Uh, that is for a 10 ounce uh, bar I have. Don't recall what those air tights are for. Um, so here is what came. Oh, I got a nice refrigerator magnet. And you know what's cool? I have a refrigerator it'll stick to. <laughs> My last refrigerator uh, would not stick. Okay, so uh, I bought a couple of random things here. Let's just check out my purchases. This is going to be a short video. God, the one thing I couldn't find was my tripod. Unbelievable. That is an RMR, uh, a Royal Mint Refinery round. Um, a mint with just like tons of history, British uh, Rothschild mint. So I thought it'd be great to get one of those. Um, I don't know if they're selling those anymore, but to the very few products coming out of the Rothschild Mint, so I wanted to have that, but it's very generic. Um, here is, uh, let me do that last. Um, I picked up uh, one of the Queen's Beasts. This is the Dragon of Wales, the Red Dragon of Wales. Look at that bad boy, wow. Oh, those are so nice. I've neglected uh, that series here for a little while. Got to get back on board and get the display box for that one. Um, oh, and here we go. They're still, they were still advertising uh, the Elemental uh, Privateer rounds uh, back then. Well, let's put that in the refrigerator too. I'm sure my wife will love that. <laughs> okay, and here we go. The first round in the series uh, let's get a good look at that if we can. Maybe if I put it down, it'll be better. I just want to look for the quality problems. Uh, I'm going to take that out of the... Okay. There are the four horsemen. I guess that's the obverse. Well, I don't know. It's just a round. Well, that's pretty nice looking. That's pretty darn nice looking. I like that one. Let's see what the... Uh, looks very 3D. Let's see what the other side looks like out of the plastic. Okay, well, no quality problems on the first uh, round. So, uh, I don't know, I hope I don't regret uh, not doing this, but uh, I did promise a slacker stack. And uh, if you want it, bud, it's yours for what I paid for it. Um, I'll hold on to this first coin, I guess. 
Um, so there you have. Uh, go check out his channel and uh, have a great weekend, everybody. One more thing. I was uh, uh, clearing out this box and I found this giant uh, tube of silver. Um, I don't recall buying these. It's been so long. But these are uh, mixed uh, rounds, uh, Providence Choice. I guess back then uh, these were going for about 14, uh, 1740 or so. So uh, got these for spot, I guess, if you look at it that way. I don't know what I was going to do with these. If I was going to melt them or look for... Um, Oh, wow. Ooh, there's some cool stuff in here. Hold on one second. Let's see what uh, comes in the mixed round set. Looks like about 10 or so. So those are trade unit. Silver trade units. You guys know those. Ooh, look how pretty. Why is it every time I get silver to melt, I wind up liking it too much to melt it. Oh, those are all, oh, here's some buffaloes too. Well, I can melt the buffaloes. 2010 buffalo, eh? Uh, I'm not sure who made the 2010 buffalo. I don't like to melt the, the dated ones. Here we go, more trade units, trade unit, trade unit, beautiful silver, honestly, beautiful, beautifully struck silver. Well, they didn't mix them up too good, I usually ask for a variety, but there's more of the Indians, more trade units, okay, so basically silver trade units, quite a few, and a couple of Indians. All right, there you have it, now the video's over, thanks guys.